Black borders. They're this really cool looking border thing that you get for fully completing a map without using any cheese techniques such as escaping to the title screen when your incompetent monkeys can't pop balloons efficiently enough. Ever since my last video, I've been playing BTD6 a bunch and even black bordered Monkey Meadow. Now these black borders obviously look very cool and having the entire map selection screen have these borders would probably be amazing. So the plan today is for me to beat an entire map and black border it. For now, I'm going to be black bordering logs, since it seems like it's a pretty easy map to complete. Black bordering takes forever, so this is probably going to be a decently long video, so I'd suggest grabbing a snack and getting comfortable, because this is going to take a while. Anyway, I have to start this journey at the very beginning, meaning, easy mode. Since this process is going to take around 3 hours to complete, I had my friend King Crab in a call with me and blasted some music to just vibe. I had to start with standard mode and easy difficulty in order to unlock the rest of the game modes. To start, I used a ninja monkey as I finally got the XP for Sticky Bomb and Master Bomber. I obviously couldn't use Master Bomber just yet, but I could use Sticky Bomb for the round 40 Moab. I upgraded my Ninjago character into a 201 better Ninjago man and then got Obin on round 9. I switched to Obin for the magic monkey buffs. I then got a wizard monkey and upgraded him to a 022 wall of flaming hot fire with a brain. And you know how I said I could use Sticky Bomb to get past the round 40 Moab? Well, I didn't use Sticky Bomb. I used the Necromancer with an Alk buff instead. Next up was primary only, meaning I could only use primary monkeys such as the Fart Monkey and my personal favorite, Boomer Boy. I start with Boomer Boy, force him to be left-handed, and then get him to a 202 Flame Glaive Thrower. I place down Obin on round 7, and then I upgrade Boomer Boy to a 302 Ricochet. I purchase a 203 Tax Sprayer for extra Moab damage, I buy a 023 Crossbow Batman because I completely forgot about camos, I get Boomer Boy more Glaives, I get Crossbow Batman to a 024 Sharpshooter, upgrade my Tax Sprayer into an Overdrive, get a 022 Glue Man to get some XP, and destroyed the round 40 Moab. The final game mode for easy was Deflation. Basically, BTD6 gives me $20,000 and tells me to survive to round 60, starting from round 31. <laughs> Give me a challenge, come on now. Well, I got humbled real quick. It's alright, I learn from my mistakes and get a Necromancer with a Rocket Storm Dartling Gunner and a 220 Spike Factory in case of Elite. As I said, give me a challenge. Warm up's over. It's time for things to heat up a bit with medium difficulty. Just like with easy difficulty, I start with the standard game mode. I start with my Ninjago character again and get him to a 201. Then I place down Obin, and then I place down a wizard and get him to a 022. As you can probably tell, this is going to be my combo for most of the different game modes since it's pretty reliable. I let my Ninjago character play with Caltrops, and then buy Shimmer as well as the Necromancer soon after. I buy an Alchemist to get those buffs, I actually get Sticky Bomb, and I get a Monkey Village. I also get a Hydra Rocket Pods Darling Gunner who is buffed by his own Alchemist because I got bored and had way too much money left to spare. Now at this point, Ninja Kiwi lets me choose what game mode I want to do next, so I decide to do Military Monkeys only. I start with a Monkey Buccaneer because it's the only thing that has good range and I don't feel like starting with Obin. I upgrade it to a 200 double shot before getting it to a 220 double shot with grapes that are flaming hot. You know what else is flaming hot? That subscribe button! If you're enjoying the video so far, consider subscribing because that really helps me out. Anyway, let's get back to Military Monkeys only. I place down Obin on round 14, and I buy another pirate and upgrade him to a 002 so he can hit camos. Later on, I upgrade him to a 022 and 032. On round 27, I buy a Darling Gunner, I buy a Destroyer on my starting pirate, I get Hydra Rocket Pods, I give my pirate the ability to steal Moabs, I get a BADS or BADS, and I actually fight the round 60 BFB instead of using Rocket Storm or just stealing it with the Monkey Pirate's ability. Next up, I played the reverse game mode. 
It's basically the same as standard, but the entrance and exit are swapped, so balloons appear from the bottom instead of the top. Since it's basically the same as standard, I don't have to go over it much. All I did was the same as usual. Necromancer, Sticky Bomb, Alchemist Buffs, MIB Village, and a Dartling Gunner because I got bored. Reverse? More like... Easy. I'm sorry, I didn't know where I was going with that. The final game mode for medium difficulty is Apocalypse. Basically, it's rapid fire with no breaks in between rounds, and also, I don't get extra money from round completion. I immediately start with my Ninjago character, and during round 4, I finally get Ninja Discipline. I buy Seeking Shuriken next because I am not getting enough popping power and I don't feel like leaking any lives. And finally on round 12, I get Sharp Shurikens and can finally defend without worrying about not popping any balloons. I buy a Wizard Monkey on round 15 because my Ninjago character is still incompetent and can't pop yellows. And I get Obin down on round 20 instead of buying Wall of Fire because my towers are still struggling to pop the damn balloons. I finally get Wall of Fire on round 23 and can finally calm down a bit. I save up for the usual Necromancer, Sticky Bomb, Alk, Dartling combo, and absolutely destroy this game mode. Now with both easy and medium difficulty complete, it's time to finish off this journey with hard. I start off with the standard game mode and immediately do what I normally do. 201 Ninjago character, Obin, 022 Wizard Monkey, Shimmer, Necromancer, Sticky Bomb, Alchemist, Village, Prince of Darkness, Dartling Gunner, and I easily destroy the round 80 ZOMG. Alright, now with the simple standard game mode out of the way, next up is Magic Monkeys Only. I once again start with a 201 Ninjago character, I get Obin, I buy Wizard Monkey and upgrade him to a 022, I get Shimmer and eventually upgrade to a Necromancer, then I get a Flash Bomb and Sticky Bomb for my Ninjago character. After that, I place down an Alchemist and buy the buffs available. I've been making sure to place my Alchemist out of the range of Obin so that he only buffs my main two towers. I buy a Prince of Darkness on round 60, and I also buy a Bloonjitsu Ninjago character to help with some extra popping power. I give Bloonjitsu his own Alchemist buff, and also buy a 2-3-0 Dragon's Breath Wizard Monkey because I have way too much money. I get Summon Phoenix and once again, destroy the round 80 ZOMG. I also tried to sell everything to see if I could get Master Bomber before the game ended, but I didn't have enough money, so sad days. Next up was Double HP Moabs which if you watched my last video, is a bit tough early game. I started with a wizard monkey this time to test if it was a better starting tower than the Ninjago character, and it did way worse. The rounds were stalled out longer, making this game mode really long and obnoxious, but I pulled through and got wall of fire near the end of round 10. I then got monkey sense, placed down my Ninjago character and upgraded him to a 101, got down Obin, bought sharp shurikens, and started saving for shimmer. I got shimmer, then saved up and got necromancer. I bought flash bomb and afterwards bought a 203 tax sprayer for some extra damage to the round 40 double HP moab. And I still almost died. I leaked a bit, but since I didn't die, I was able to get sticky bomb and overdrive. After that, I made sure to get an alchemist and then started saving for the prince of darkness. I got P.O.D. on round 59, and got a village to increase the attack speed and range of all of my towers. I bought an Alchemist to buff my attack shooter, got a Darling Gunner for extra damage, bought a double shot Ninjago character, and annihilated the round 80 ZOMG. At this point, I've been playing for 2 hours straight and had to take a break before I played Half Cash. So after 30 minutes and devouring a very nice dessert, I was ready to play Half Cash. Since Half Cash is really annoying, I turned up my music and started jamming out. Alright, let's get to it. But you won't be able to hear that because I will get copyrighted if I play that music. Anyway, to start, I started with Boomer Boy. On round 8, I got Boomer Boy to a 101, and eventually a 202. I got a Buccaneer and upgraded him to a 022 for camo detection. I placed down Obin. I bought the cannon ship, I then got Glaive Ricochet, 
bought a tax shooter for extra damage, and then had a very close call with the round 40 Moab. After that hurdle, I got more glaives, I bought Overdrive, then got a 0-2-0 village for camera detection, which I eventually upgraded into a 2-3-0 MIB. I was able to buy monkey pirates on round 65, and then got another pirate, which I upgraded to a 3-2-0 destroyer, which I later got to a 4-2-0 aircraft carrier. I got an alchemist to buff my pirates, and then I rolled through the round 80 ZOMG. With half cash done, it was time to move on to ABR. I started with Boomer Boy again, and immediately forgot about the round 5 camo balloons which I ended up leaking to. I bought a 0-1-2 dart monkey in order to deal with camo balloons, and immediately got it to a 0-2-2. I placed on a wizard monkey and upgraded it to a 0-1-2 for camo lead popping power, which appears on round 24. On round 18, I upgraded my wizard to a 0-2-2, which gave it wall of fire. I got my fart monkey to a crossbow monkey, I bought glaive ricochet, and then I got shimmer. I saved for a necromancer, then finally plopped down Obin on round 36. I purchased a pirate and upgraded him to a 032 cannon ship, got sharpshooter, and then got more glaives on Boomer Boy. I saved up and got monkey pirates, bought a 210 monkey village, bought another pirate and upgraded him to be a destroyer, got the MIB, got the aircraft carrier, got an alchemist to buff the pirates once again, bought a dartling gunner, got an alchemist buff for my other towers, and obliterated round 80. Now that I finished ABR, it was time to move on to Impoppable, but first... I unlocked my favorite hero. If you don't know what Etienne does, he's basically a drone user who attacks balloons with, well, drones. At level 3, he gets an ability to summon 4 extra drones to help fight off balloons, which helps clean up large amounts of balloons. At level 8, he gives every single monkey on the screen camo detection. It's like a monkey village, but the radius is the entire map. At level 10, you get the ability to turn his UCAV drone into a combat drone, which absolutely destroys everything on the screen. And at level 20, his UCAV turns into a permanent combat drone that gets even stronger if you use the ability. Basically, Etienne is going to be really helpful for both Impoppable and Chimps. To start off Impoppable, I place down the Ninjago character and go back to my old reliable strategy. Get a 201 Ninjago character, buy Etienne on round 15, place down my Wizard Monkey and upgrade him to a 022, and start saving for Shimmer and Necromancer. When you have a good strat and know what your plan is for the early game, Impoppable and Chimps become surprisingly easy to beat. If you're able to beat Impoppable using a certain strategy, you'll probably be able to beat Chimps with ease since everything does cost less. Anyway, Looks like I've saved up enough money for Necromancer, so now I start saving for Flash Bomb and Sticky Bomb. I get Flash Bomb on round 38, easily take down the round 40 Moab, and I get Sticky Bomb on round 44. Now I start saving up for Prince of Darkness. While we wait, I get to tell you about how amazing the Glue Gunner is. Look at how powerful it is. Such an amazing tower. Anyway, I unlock the Prince of Darkness on round 59 and get Alchemist buffs. Now that I have gotten the Alchemist buffs, it's time for me to finally get the Master Bomber so I can masterfully bomb Moabs like there's no tomorrow. And on round 82, I finally work up 48,000 cash and get the Master Bomber. I get a Monkey Village and upgrade it to a 230 MIB. And now, obviously, my strategy is extremely stupid and probably won't be able to defend until round 100. So I get a BADS, and I buy a call to arms near the end of round 98, since it was looking pretty bad. I make it to round 100, and demolish the bad with the power of all my towers, and Etienne's Perma UCAV combat drone.
I am now on to the final game mode I need to beat before I finally get that beautiful black border on logs. Chimps. I once again start off with my 201 Ninjago character, place down Etienne on round 14, and purchase a wizard monkey that I upgrade to a 022. As usual, I save up my money to upgrade my wizard into a necromancer, which I get on round 34. And then I save up to upgrade my Ninjago character into having Sticky Bombs, which I get on round 41. Now, it's time for me to start saving until Prince of Darkness, and I get him on round 56. I buy an Alchemist for the buffs, and immediately get to saving for Master Bomber. Since this strategy worked for Impopable, I know for a fact that I can just chill until I have enough money for Master Bomber. And I get Master Bomber during round 80. I get a Village to a 230 MIB, and then place down a Dartling Gunner that I upgrade to a 024 BADS. Now that I have my defense, I save up until I have enough money to buy a Call to Arms, which I get on round 95. On round 98, Etienne gets to max level, meaning that this round, which is the final hard round before the BAD, is a piece of cake. On round 100, I use all of my abilities to easily take down the round 100 bad. After going back to the title screen and scrolling over to logs, I finally get to see the beautiful black border I worked so hard to get. It was so much fun black bordering logs and King Crab was probably the best person I could have gotten to just talk with me while I basically repeated the same process over and over again. So thanks King Crab, you made this journey more interesting than it would have been without you. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. If you watched until the very end without skipping, comment anything you want but have the word banana in there somewhere, and I'll make sure to reply with a thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up because that lets me know that you guys like this type of content, and make sure to subscribe because once again, that would make you cool. And also you'll be able to get notified whenever I make other content like this, so uh, yeah, click that button. But now that this video is over, if you haven't already, Make sure to watch this video where me and my friend Arch beat all the hard game modes on Monkey Meadows with brand new accounts. I'll see you over there.